We belong to the body of God. Greetings, everyone. I am Obleron, the Lord of Love and the Magister of the Cube. Thank you for joining me on today's episode of the Magister's Sanctum. From the Higgs boson comes all of our subatomic particles. From the subatomic particles comes the, the protons, the neutrons, the electrons of the atoms. From the atoms comes the elements. From the elements comes the molecules. And then the more complex amino acids and proteins, which build the cells in our body. The cells in our body build our organs, and our organs build the various systems that nourish and support and regulate our bodies. We as individuals come together to create friendships and community. We come together to create our families, and all of these organizations come together to create the towns and cities in which we live in. The towns and cities come together to create the states or provinces. The provinces and states come together to create the countries. The countries come together to create the continents. And the continents come together to create planet Earth. Planet Earth along with the other planets of the solar system and the sun come to come together to create the solar system. Let's not also forget the Oort cloud and the Kuiper belt and all of the and all of those astronomical things with, with which we cannot see. Our solar systems come together to create the galaxies. The galaxies come together to create the superclusters. And the superclusters come together to create what we now think is the known universe. I believe that if we go and search ourselves or search the cosmos through spiritual matters, we find that the universe is one of many universes and all of those come together to create the multiverse. And within each of those multiverses are the cells of God. And all the cells of God come together to create the body of God. At least that's what we think so far. I'm sure probably in the future we'll find greater structures that we've never even contemplated before. I'm sure we'll find many new fantastical things that escape the realm of our imagination today because science is always discovering new things. And that's why the ancients had the saying, as above, so below, as within, so without. We all come together to create the body of God. And everything that we do on both the microcosm and the macrocosm has an effect on everything else. So bringing it back to the human level, every choice that we make affects everything else around us. Everything that we choose to believe, everything that we put in our bodies affects us. It affects the inner world and because it affects our inner world, it has an effect on our attitudes and our behaviors that in turn reflects and affects the outer world. Now, what happens when we as a species do not live within our means? What happens when when we pay no mind to the environment around us, to the world around us, or to the consequences of our actions? Well, let's go back to within the body. 
What happens when certain cells within our body start to become ravenous and they consume within the body without being mindful of what its function is within the body? Well, those cells turn cancerous and ultimately they kill the body. So we as humans, what if we finally get to Mars with our current state of mind? What if we finally get to the moons of the outer planets with our current state of mind? What if we start to consume the resources of those outer planets? What if we start to consume the resources of Mars? What if we make it beyond the Oort cloud and get to the nearest star and we land on that planet and we start to consume without mind everything that that planet has to offer? Well, would we not be a cancer? Would we not be a disease or a parasite on the cosmos? And what will happen if we encounter other beings in this process? How will we treat them? If we look back to human history, well, if they are, or if we perceive them as inferior to us, we will either enslave them or we will wipe them out. And if they are superior to us, we better hope that they possess the enlightenment and understanding and the Christ consciousness and the Buddha consciousness because if they are superior to us and they don't possess that, they will wipe us out and we'll have intergalactic war. So I think we have to be very mindful of our actions as a species from here on out because what we are doing we are attracting, whether we know it or not, we are attracting the, the attention of other beings throughout this galaxy already. Ever since we launched the first atomic bomb, ever since we blew it up, they have been watching us. And right now they're very curious to see how we are going to evolve. I hope that before we get to Mars, we have no more homeless people. I hope that before we get to Mars, or even colonize the moon, that people don't go hungry anymore. I hope that there is no more racism. I hope that there is no more warfare. Because if we take these cancerous ideas with us to outer space, we will be annihilated. And make no mistake, there are plenty, plenty of technological civilizations which are far more advanced than us. There are plenty of beings that can wipe this planet out with a thought. We also have a cosmic responsibility to be in harmony with our surroundings, to develop an equilibrium with our surroundings as well. And again, if we do not fall into that, if we become cancerous, if we become a disease, then we will not be tolerated. If we do get our act together and we can solve our differences and our problems, then a whole universe of love and acceptance will be there for us to discover. We will discover how much we have in common with these extraterrestrials. We will discover what they have to offer. We will, ha we will discover their wisdom. We will discover their versions of Jesus, their versions of Buddha. We will discover that many of the truths that we as humans have conceived on this planet will be the same truths that extraterrestrials have discovered too. And we will 
join the Galactic Federation. We will live in the Star Trek environment that we all feel is out there somewhere. Thank you for joining me today. I hope all of you got something from this. Leave a comment below. I'm very curious to see what what you all have to say. And now let's close with the chant of Obleron. Thank you for joining us on today's episode. If you resonate with what you are seeing or hearing, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and share Obleron's content. It really helps him to spread the word and to grow his channel and pages. Collective readings are posted Mondays on the High Priestess's Circle. Teachings are posted Wednesdays on the Magister's Sanctum, and the music from those episodes are posted Fridays on the Empress's Theater. Posters and merch related to Obleron's teachings are available at obleron.square.site. Music from the episodes is also available at obleron.bandcamp.com. Obleron is spelled O-B-L-Y-R-O-N. Lastly, don't forget to connect with the community on Discord. It's called the Magister's Council, and look for the invite link in the description boxes and profiles below. There are astrology and wellness bots, as well as games and discussion forums available for free. There is also an exclusive members-only section with additional content and live streams for subscribers. Obleron also takes inquiries for services through Discord. In case you missed anything, all the links are available in the description boxes and profiles below. Thank you everyone, and much love to all.